Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I've got a really easy watercolour technique today and this is part of a release with Alton New, it's the Poppy Builder Flower. There's two large flowers in this set and to do this technique you're going to need to start with the solid base stamp of the flower of your choice. So I've mounted it on my lid of my Misty and I'm using some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I've got my water brush marker starting with the the purpley tone, it's Midnight Violet, and I'm adding it directly to the photopolymer stamp, spritzing it with some water, and then stamping it on the Bristol cardstock. I told you, this is really easy. <laughs> There's nothing technical about this except the hardest part which of course you already know and that's waiting for it to dry <laughs> and there's lots of waiting for it to dry today but you don't have to wait only I did <laughs> okay I'm using a paper towel here to dry my stamp and my missy lid and the next color I'm going to come in with is the dusk so this is a real sort of um, almost a gray blue color it's beautiful and I'm not covering the whole stamp I I'm going to spritz it again with some water. I haven't waited for this section to dry at the moment. I'm still working on the same section because I want these colors to blend. If I didn't want them to blend, I would have waited or waited for it to dry or used my heat tool to speed up the process. So these two colors together are going to give me an, a deeper purple. This time it is dry and I'm coming in with some more color. I'm coming back in with the purple I am spritzing it again and I'm sort of focusing on the areas that didn't have a lot of color last time and it's just going to add more depth and you know those kind of watercolory lines <laughs> in the image so once that's all done I use the outline of the stamp I don't want this to be on there perfect it is not going to be perfect because of the way I've stamped it initially but I'm coming in with my permanent black ink and going to stamp the outline a little off center you can use a block to do this technique and it would look just as good I just find with the misty it's a lot more forgiving because the Bristol smooth cardstock it is uh, smooth and easy to stamp on but if I do need to re-stamp like I did here I can do that quite a lot easier all right so this is part of a blog hop so head to the, through the link below in the description below and you'll find out how you can have a chance to win if you're here in December 2018 and also all of the other participants will be linked at my blog and you can find their blogs comment and have more chances to win that's so cool all right, so I added some black ink splatters and my sentiment today came from the leaf canopy set and I just decided to white heat emboss that on some jet black cardstock. I'm covering the front of my card with my pale gray cardstock. You know, one of my favorites. You might have seen it before. <laughs> and I've popped up my panel on some foam and I'm going to attach that with some score tape. All that's left to do now is add the sentiment. And I didn't even add all of that footage. <laughs> all right, so that's my finished card. Don't forget to visit me at my blog. Don't forget to like this video if you did like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time. Happy paper crafting. Bye.